We just spoke to some lads, he said don't come here at night times. So it's like a red light district, no go zone. This is All the insane. Time. All right guys, camera's got to go, there's a big group of guys following us, watching us. Hello and welcome to Peterborough. Voted year on year as one of the worst places to live in the UK. Let's explore this city and find out if it deserves its bleak reputation. Let's go. First impressions. Peterborough looks quite nice on the surface. I've never been to Peterborough or Cambridgeshire, which is the county that Peterborough lies in in the United Kingdom. So I don't know really what to expect. However, I have read numerous negative articles featuring Peterborough and the fact that it's one of the worst places to live in the United Kingdom. So let's find out whether or not it deserves this bleak reputation. You can see there behind me, the 13th century Peterborough Cathedral, right slap bang in the center of the city. There's a real stark contrast. The moment you walk through those gates there behind me, walking from the city center where all the homeless is and the drug users. There, the 13th century Peterborough Cathedral. Absolutely beautiful. Well guys, we all know people don't live in the city centres and in the cathedral grounds, so let's head over to some of the residential areas of Peterborough and let's find out if it deserves its bleak reputation. Tim, <laughs> you were just telling me that there was a ram raid in one of the banks here. I'm just stood next to Some guy to went mental um, last week, smashed every window in the Barclays branch, uh, and as you can see, all the windows are all oh covered goodness up. Goodness me, yeah, you can see there behind me. That's not a closed up, boarded up shop, guys. That, that is your, age, that that's your cash machine and your, your oh, bank. It's all an open bank. Didn't add all the windows put through. On the surface, Peterborough City Centre is really nice. However, we are hearing from multiple locals that there is a definite underbelly to this city. I did recognise it as I was walking just outside the cathedral grounds. As I said, there was numerous homeless folk drug users, beggars. The soundtrack of Peterborough. Normal, every day. So guys, as I said, we're heading over to the notorious Millfield Estate. Now I've got some of the crime stats up here for the Millfield Estate. Let me list them off to you. There were a total of 524 street level crime incidences last month. January 2024, there were 524 street level incidences. 206 of those were violent crimes. In the doorway there, a few bottles of pee. This is the old Her Majesty's passport office. Left to rot and abandoned. Stark difference from the city centre, Ben and Timmy, isn't it? Mate, one minute that way. One minute that way, beautiful. My goodness me. This side, gone. It's on the see why it's ranked number two on that second worst list, isn't it? Definitely, I think. Just touch the surface, boys. Wow, it's like those peripheral areas of Peterborough. It's a stark difference, isn't there it? Is, man. Yeah. Oh, you can see there are more homeless camps at the old passport office here in Peterborough. Stones throw from the city centre and the cathedral. In fact, just through those trees there, it's the cathedral grounds. Just all abandoned and run down. And see. that whole precinct's all closed up, is it? All down here, all shut down. That's bleak, isn't it, Tim? So you've got a club there. That was an old nightclub. And Halo. Yeah. Now, which was Coyotes. You had Ghost, Chicago Rock, and Liquid. And the queues of people trying to get in these places back in the day. Really? Yeah, man. It's the abandoned, boarded up theme continues. All in absolutely prime business location. Right in the central business district of Peterborough. Abandoned and left to rot comment down below if you ever used to party there and it just continues and continues as far as the eye can see down this road just abandoned and boarded up a real stark contrast to Peterborough city centre where 99% of the shops were filled the architecture was stunning absolutely beautiful the moment you step outside of that cathedral square it all changes there's a real palpable feeling in the air. There's lots of homelessness. There's lots of drug users. The crime statistics for Peterborough and the Millfield area where we're heading to now are terrible. So let's explore and find out whether or not the bleak reputation that Peterborough has is warranted. Just rubbish, discarded needles, drug paraphernalia, bottles of alcohol, you name it, it's there. Like these are all fairly new buildings. 
and they're just all abandoned. So we're in Eastfield Road, one of the residential areas of Peterborough. As we know, people don't tend to live in the city centres, so we're exploring the residential areas to get a true picture of what it's like to live in the UK's worst city. But guys, we're like five minutes outside the city centre now and it's just become like one big rubbish dump. It's crazy. Look at that. Oh, it's a needle there in the bush. We've arrived on the Millfield Estate, the area in which there was 524 street level crime incidences happened in this small area of Peterborough last month alone. 206 of those were violent crimes. Mattress on the floor there, outside someone's house. She's clearly high on something. Ben, we've arrived on the peripheral areas of Peterborough and it's a stark difference to the city centre, mate, isn't it? Yes, simple as that, mate, it is. Goodness. Stones throw away from the town. And look at it, mate, it's just, um, oh, no. it's not great, is it? Starting to see why it's got that bit of a bleak reputation that it's gained over the years. Yeah, well, apparently we're going further in now. It can only get worse. <sighs> Wish us luck. So as I said, this small area of Peterborough, the Millfield Estate, is home to a lot of the crime statistics. I mean, as I said, there was 206 street level violent incidences that happened last month in this small estate. Absolutely crazy. There's definitely a palpable feeling as you're walking through. You get the twitching curtains watching you, looking at you. Yeah, I don't think we particularly want it in this area, that's for sure. Well guys, we've arrived on the notorious Millfield Estate here in Peterborough with Backpacker Ben. Goodness me. Welcome. Welcome. I don't know quite what we're about to uh, walk into here, but uh, we'll soon find out. Let's go. We're on Lincoln Road on the Millfield Estate and as I said guys, there was 524 street level crimes that happened in this small area of Peterborough last month. 206 of those were violent crimes. Istanbul, Middle Eastern cuisine over there, the blue shop, tapas bar there. The Kabul food store here in Peterborough. You've got the cake in, You've got the rotty food bar. Istanbul, Middle Eastern grill, Taze charcoal grill. Loads of takeaways, curry houses, pizza places, kebab shops. Loads. It's the Bucharest. Coffee and restaurant. Kurdish barbers. I've never seen as many takeaways as what I have in Peterborough. And that is because Peterborough is home to more takeaways than anywhere else in the United Kingdom per capita. Papa John's, Lahore. Ah, the funeral home. We just spoke to some lads, he said, don't come here at night time. Like, yeah, no they did. Zone. They did say, don't come here at night time. It's like a red light district, no go zone. So, um, I think we'll be coming back at night time to check that out. So guys, off camera, we were just told to um, put our cameras away and sort of get out. We've also been warned against coming here and filming at night time. Uh, they said it's definitely not a safe place for us to be at night time, so. Do we head back at night? I don't know. Me and Ben will put our heads together and uh, see if we come back at night. What is the violence like with like the youth of Peterborough? A lot of stabbings, mm. drugs, um, drug gangs. You get in um, a lot of places that are cocooned, yeah. where people take over a house. Police have to get involved and shut it down. And this is Millfield, Lincoln Road. In Peterborough's notorious Millfield area, the city's red light district and hotbed for the drugs and alcohol and violence. So let's hit the streets and let's find out what happens. Let's go. <laughs> so Ben, what's your first impressions, my mate? Uh, I'm scared to get my camera out. Mate, I am nervous. There is definitely a feel in the air, isn't there? Brought here by local Timmy. Hello everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Millfield. 
Oh, it. wow. <laughs> no, there's definitely it's a palpable feeling there, guys. We've already been spotted. And, um, yeah, there's definitely eyes on us as we're walking up the high street now. Anything to share there, Ben? I've got my head down, mate. I'm not, I'm not, yeah, I'm just walking, mate. Just thinking to myself. <laughs> scary, man. It is scary. There's definitely a palpable feeling in the air. Everybody that we walk past is staring at us. Every shot we pass, there's like groups of like five to ten men. This is normal, man. This is normal. Even on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday night down here, this is normal. Yeah, man. This is All insane. The time. All right, guys, camera's got to go. There's a big group of guys. Hold on. In the road, in the road. Every day. Spotter. There's always a spotter. Yeah, we've Keeping just... Keeping in contact. We've just had the same guy walk past us. How many times have we seen him now? Two, three times in ten minutes. Two, three times in ten minutes, just walking like... Phone in his hand. Phone in his hand, following us, watching us. Yeah, I think it's. Uh, I think we. I think we might have outstayed our welcome in Rock Milford. Rock the boat, mate. That's what we've done. I think we've rocked the boat. I think it's time. Oh, eh? I'm ready to leave. <laughs> I'm ready to leave too. Let's get back to our lodge. Let's go. <laughs> right, that ten minutes in Millfield was enough for us. We're getting the f out of here. It's absolutely crazy here. We're just getting watched all the just time. Just getting watched. Eyes on us constantly. Absolutely constantly. We are not wanted in Millfield. That is for sure. So Timmy, can you explain to the viewers what this what this box is? This is your classic Peterborough Sharky bit. Oh wow. For anybody needling up, wants to finish it, stick it in there please. Recycling and all that, you know. Yeah. So that's where the local drug addicts of Peterborough come. Obviously they, they I'm assuming they, Needle they up, shoot up on the shoot up round here on the step and, and then the pass. Put their this is sharp a spots in, in there. There you go. Yeah, it's the second or third one you've pointed out to us now, yeah. Timmy. Within a mile radius. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's a common thing. You can just see it's just littered. The floor is just littered with drug paraphernalia. Crazy. Starting to get to grips with why potentially Peterborough has the reputation that it does. So many bleak and depressing headlines about Peterborough. From what I've seen, it's not great. It's not great. 